The city sounds fade away until all that remain are the sights and sounds of one man making his way across the town. His attire is speaking louder than anything he could say. It is the impression James Miner has always wanted to make and he is enjoying every minute. A cheer goes up as he walks past a bus stand. The Matatu operators have known Miner for years. The 53-year-old is a national youth coordinator and the patron of Umo Ina Matatu Sako, representing their interests. The story of his rise to the top of the Sako's ranks is intertwined with that of his penchant for dressing well. In the 1980s, Miner moved to the city from a small village in Muranga County in search of a job. It was a lean existence as he struggled to come up in the world. Miner's love affair with flashy clothes had started early. Wakati watu walikuwa wakinyima kama ni nguo ya kwenda kutembea mahali fulani, nilikuwa nasikia vibanda, nilikuwa nikioba Mungu. Namwambia nataka siku moja unipatie maguo nyingi za kuweza kupatia watu wengine kuwasaidia. Na mimi mwenyewe wanione vile nimengala ndio wajue kuna Mungu. So when he got a foothold in the matatu industry, he thought it was time to invest in his image. Even if the clothes he could afford at the time were not brand new. Sasa nilikuwa nikienda naangalia kama nitroza mzuri kama huko kwa 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 nini kwa mitumba. Naenda na nunua sura nzuri kiatu ungejua kwa sababu zingine huaga huko kwa mitumba ni nguo mpya. Na huaga zinaitwa kamela. And as he became established in the matatu sector, so his wardrobe grew. On the day we met him, Mina was wearing a blue suit with a matching tie and shoes to boot. The band of his watch, his socks, handkerchief, his belt, and even his spectacle frames were all in the same shade of blue. No outfit yangu wa nimepanga for one week. Kwa hivyo sasa, kesho, najua nitafaa nini. Na kila kitu, iko tiyali. Kwa hivyo jioni sasa nikienda nikutoa kama ni saa, natoa kama ni pete. He has clothes in almost every hue and shade, each outfit with its own accessories. If they don't match, he says, he won't wear them. Hile kitu inapatika na mwanzo, diyo inafanya hizo zingine, utafute hizo zingine. Kuna hata guo inaeza maliza hata miakambili, hata tatu sijawai faana ni mpia. Kwa sababu loho yangu, haidafika wakati ya kupenda hiyo inuo, najua loho utegemea. On the weekends, he takes a break from full suits. However, he never wears jeans. An outfit can cost anything from 10,000 shillings to 80,000 shillings. Money the married father of three can now afford to spend every so often. His family has come to terms with his passion for clothes. And sometimes his admirers from abroad send him a few unique pieces too. The rest of his outfits come from stores across the city and a faithful tailor who understands his vision. <laughs> He immediately draws comparisons with Sir Pez, the Congolese dandies who consider themselves the best-dressed gentlemen on the planet. From their often meager earnings, they purchase fine clothing and accessories, but Maina says he has never heard of them. Unajua, Congolese, wanabaa vitenge. Kwa hivyo, ni tofauti na zile sisi tunafaa. Kwa sababu, hile ni ata ayao. Unelewa sasa, lakini yetu, sisi ni masuti. He is his own example, shining a light to others, putting one impeccably short foot after the other as he goes about his business, supervising the matatus filling up during rush hour. <laughs> Buses hoot, a cloud of dust and dirt hangs over the busy terminus, but Maina's clothes remain crisp, pristine, and we depart with the feeling that in this case at least, it is the man who makes the clothes. <laughs>